G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel, my name's Cody and today I will be doing the 2022 NRL season, season review of my boys, the South Sydney Rabbitohs. The South Sydney Rabbitohs finished in 7th place in the 2022 season, playing a total of 27 games, scoring 30 points, with 16 wins and 11 losses for the season. The Rabbitohs scored a total of 604 points in the regular season, adding on the 80 points they scored in their three finals games this year, so coming to a total of 684 points for the season. While the Rabbitohs conceded a total of 474 points for the regular season, adding on the 58 points they conceded in their three finals games, coming to a total of 532 points conceded for the season. The Rabbitohs finished with a points differential of a positive 130. Finishing with the finals, they um, ended up finishing with a posi positive 152. The Rabbitohs' home record for this year was 9 wins and 3 losses, with, an, with the away record as 5 wins and 7 losses. With the finals, um, Rabbitohs finished up with 7 wins and 8 losses um, for the away record. And the Rabbitohs managed to win three of their last five games for the season between rounds 21 and 25. The Rabbitohs started off with the loss in round one against the Brisbane Broncos where Adam Reynolds was meant to debut for the Brisbane Broncos but unfortunately he was out due to COVID. So the Rabbitohs will go on to lose the game 11-4 at Suncorp Stadium before losing to the Melbourne Storm in round two the following week at Amy Park, losing only by one point in a golden point thriller, 15 points to 14. In round three, against the team that we hate the most, our arch nemesis, the Sydney Roosters, for the first game between the two, we will go on to win it, to get our first win of the season, 28-16 at a core stadium, before going on to lose to the eventual back-to-back premier, -back premiers for 2022, the Penrith Panthers at Blue Bet Stadium in Penrith 26-12. This was also my first game I went to this year and I did a face reveal. So if you want to know when I did a face reveal, it was um, in this game um, between the Panthers and the Rabbitohs. The Rabbitohs will go on to bounce back in round 5 at a course day, be beating another arch rivals um, to George Illawarra Dragons 24-12 in round 5. In round 6 we'll go back to back with a win over our um, Good Friday rivals the Bulldogs 36-16 on Good Friday before shockingly losing to the West Tigers of all teams at Combank Stadium in round 7 23-22 this was in uh, I can't believe it in round 8 we'll bounce back to beat the Manly Sea Eagles out on the Central Coast at Central Coast Stadium 40-22 before going on to shockingly lose to the Brisbane Broncos again, this time 32-12 at a call stadium in round 9, before bouncing back to beat the Warriors in Magic Ground in, in round 10 at Suncourt Stadium, 32-30, where Rabbitohs had a big um, winning margin at halftime before almost collapsing for the, in the second half. I thought our performance against the Warriors almost cost us the win, or even worse, in round 11 in Dubbo, which this was this will be the last time we played it as of right now. Um, we will go on to lose against the Raiders, 32-12 in Dubbo, before flogging the West Tigers this time in round 12 at a course stadium Indigenous round 44-18. Round 13 was the bye. Round 14 we managed to beat the the, the, the disgraceful and embarrassing Gold Coast Titans, 30-16 up there at Seabus Super Stadium before shockingly losing to the Dragons um, in Wollongong, 32-12 32-12 in round 15. Between round 16 and 20 would completely change the Rabbitohs as Latrell Mitchell returned from his injury and COVID isolation in round 16 as we would go on to beat the Parramatta Eels on a wet soggy night in round 16, 30 points to 12 at a course stadium before beating Newcastle in an, in an entertaining game, 40-28, up there in Newcastle, um, McDonald Jones Stadium, rather, in round 17, and in round 18, beating the arch-rivals again, the Bull Bulldogs in another close game, 36-28, in round 18, 
before going on to beat the Melbourne Storm shockingly in round 19 at a course stadium 24-12. Round 20 against the Cronulla Sharks at Points Bat Stadium. Our winning ways will come to an end, unfortunate, unfortunately, as the, we will, as the Ravenos will go on to lose in one of the best games of the year in a Golden Point thriller. 21-20, the Sharks won that game from a Nico Hines um, um, field goal. For the Rabbitohs, we bounce back to flog the Warriors at Sunshine Coast Stadium in, in, uh, on the Sunshine Coast in round 21, 48-10. They're going on to smash the Parramatta Eels, this time 26-0 in round 22 at Combank Stadium. Before going on to lose to the Premiers again in another close encounter at a call stadium, 26-22. To go on to beat the Cowboys at a course stadium, the Ramdos last home game of the season, beating them 20 to 10, and in round 25 against the Arch Nemesis at the brand new Allianz Stadium, in which I was at this game, the Ramdos will go on to lose 26-16. Week one of the finals, we were in elimination final on a Sunday 4 p.m. Sunday 4 o'clock afternoon. Game against the Roosters, six versus seven at Allianz Stadium. Seven, seven sin bins, four to the Rabbitohs, three to the Roosters. This was such an amazing game, filled with drama, excitement, and basically more drama and fights. The Rabbitohs will go on the win, 30 to 14. I've never seen a game like that between the two heated clubs. And I bet coming round three at Allianz Stadium, which I will be attending this game, just letting you guys know in the future. Um, is it, I won't be surprised if um, if there will be more fights um, in this game when the next time these two play. Anyways, back to the video. In, we will go on to uh, fog the uh, Cronulla Sharks, knocking them knocking them out in straight sets. Oh, sorry, they were knocked down in straight sets as we would flog them at Allianz again. In the, I was at this game. We we're going to win 38-12 before losing to the back-to-back -back premiers, the Penrith Panthers at, at a course stadium in 32-12. I'll get into that this game um, shortly, and that was our season. The Rabbitohs' top point scorer went to Latrell Mitchell, scoring a total of 152 points, and of course our top try scorer and the top try the top try scorer for the Rabbitohs and for the comp competition this year went to Alex Johnston scoring a total of 30 tries this is the second year in a row where he has scored the most amount of tries in the NRL now going through some of the Ravenos best wins of the season now I reckon two wins um, that were good for the season was our round three win over the Roosters and semi-final win um, over the Roosters as well 28-16 and 30 points to 14 both great, both great games, especially in the second one, where, where there were seven sin bins in that game. Round six against the Bulldogs, 36-16. Um, what's another good win? Uh, beating the Tigers, 44-18. Um, in Latrell's comeback game, beating the Eels, 30-12. And 26-0 against the Eels. And another good game, and I think this was the... Best win for the Storm, and I'm being unbiased here. The round 19 win against the Storm, 24-12. I reckon that was our best win of the season. Now, it was only 12 points because Latrell missed um, some of the goals. But this was our first time in seven games, I believe, that we've beaten Melbourne. The last time we beat Melbourne was back in 2018 at the same venue where we beat them. 30 points to 20 and that was towards the end of the season that year as well and the round two loss against the storm was i think that was our best loss for the season where we just lost by one point 15 to 14 now one more win i think our win over the warriors was the worst as we led 26 6 at half time before the ramblers would ultimately collapse in the majority of the second half, narrowly beating the Warriors and letting them catch up 32-30. But other than that, we had great wins. And I will be talking about the games I went to and I'll let you guys know which game I think I enjoyed this year as well after I talk about the losses. 
Now going through all the losses, now I'll get one out of the way. I think one of our worst losses, even though this was by one point against the Tigers, 23-22. That was a shocker um, for that game as we would lose by one point. That was the Tigers' second win of the season at that point. Now, and all of our, and I think all of our worst losses were all by 20 points, 32-12. So I'm going to go all over those. So round nine against the Broncos, 32-12. Raiders in round 11, 32-12. The Dragons, 32-12 in round 15. Um, against the Panthers in the um, in the preliminary final, 32-12. They were all of our worst losses as they were all b our biggest losses for the season. 20 points. That's a rarity to see. Not get beaten by 20 points or more, shockingly. Now I'm going to be talking about which games I went to were the best for the Rabbitohs Yushi. So I went to a total of 12 games um, for the Rabbitohs Yushi, majority at a core, one, one um, on the Central Coast and two the Allianz. So they were all great games this year and I only had three losses and there were two, of them were, two of them were against Penrith and the other one was against the Roosters at the brand new Allianz Stadium. So first game I went to was against the Panthers, which we lost 26-12. That was an alright game. Round 6 was my next one, where we beat the Bulldogs by 20, 36-16. Great win, great atmosphere, but wasn't the best game. Round 8 against Manly on the Central Coast. Anytime Rabbitohs come up here, I always go to it no matter what. This was another good win, 40-22. I enjoyed going to that game. Round 12 against the West Tigers. It was another flogging, 44-18. That was an excellent game as well, but not certainly the best for me. Round 16. Now, round 16 was truly the second best, sorry, third best game I went to, where we would beat the Eels 30-12, not because of the score, but because Latrell Mitchell returned um, in this game. He was out for over half the season due to a um, hamstring injury sim similar to the one that got him injured for the rest of the season in 2020 but it was a wet soggy night but Rabbitohs, it was great to see him back and he turned us around because he returned and led us in a dominating and um, dominating um, what making us one of the most dominant teams uh, throughout the rest of the year round 17 against the Knights was a great another great game to go to um, first time um, being back at Newcastle in nine years, because um, I was la last there when I was a bit, bit younger. But not a great game. I, if if you want to go to a great ground, Newcastle was definitely a great game to go to. Not many games they get there, but definitely a great stadium to go to. We will win 40-12. Second game against the Bulldogs, I think was way better as it was a lot more closer. I like close games. I don't like smashings. Um, 36-28, this was another great game, and, if you remember, this was the game, um, that I, that was the f this was the game that I met CJ Moxley, who was an, another rugby league YouTuber, and a very, um, big Rabbitohs, um, big South Sydney Rabbitohs supporter as well. Now, round 19 against the Melbourne Storm. CJ Moxley and I were, were both in attendance for this game. If you haven't checked out the vlog, uh, make sure you go check it out. He was in it. But round 19 against the Storm 24-12, I reckon this was the best game um, that I went to um, this year. And I think CJ would agree as well. I think this was the best game that he went to as well. Not just because we beat Melbourne, but overall, Melbourne were going through their injury crisis. They were, they were going to lose four in a row during that period. But... This was another great win, as this was the first time in four years that we have beaten them. 24-12, this was definitely the best game that I went to. I Also, in the vlog, I might have gone a bit rough with the Melbourne Storm fans. Like I said, like, the Melbourne Storm are not going to make the grand final. I apologise um, for that. Um, I was just having too much fun. But overall, I reckon that was the best game that I went to this year. Round 23 against the Panthers was another loss, but I enjoyed going to the game. My only Thursday night game we went to, 26-22. Round 24 against the Cowboys in our final home game. We were going on to win 20-10. I think this game was okay. I mean, it was close, but it was a bit sloppy 
at times. And round 25 against Allianz Stadium. Uh, sorry, against the Roosters, sorry. At Allianz Stadium, the new ground. Now, before the construction of this stadium, I had never been to Allianz. So I don't know how the experience was beforehand. But going to Allianz in round 25 was amazing. I know, despite the loss, we were, um, it was still another great game. 26-16, but... In the following week, we will go on to beat the Roosters. Uh, I, I said I didn't go to this game, and unfortunately I didn't. I should have went, but that's right. I will make up for it, as I will go to Alliance again, this time against the Sharks in, in week two of the finals. And I reckon this was the second best game I went to. Mainly, not be, not just because it was a great atmosphere, but if you saw it in the vlog, there were Sharks fans above... You just started started to toss um, like food, drinks um, at us because they were they were um, being sore losers because um, the sharks were getting beaten and and even one of the videos going no 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 yeah yeah goodbye um, to one of the other sharks fans as they were uh, I think they were drunk or something. It was, just a lot of lot of fun, and also above us, the Sharks fans they were giving us like the doing arms cross, giving us the finger, and even one did it to me. I was like, uh, uh, "What are you gonna do about it?" Or whatever I said. But overall, that was a great night, and we're going to win 38-12. Now I will be planning to go to more games next year, probably not as much, but we'll just have to wait and see. But yes, definitely the best game I went to this year was Rabbitohs versus Storm 24-12 round 90. If you, if you want to say what other game that you enjoyed for Rabbitohs, whether you're a Rabbitohs sub member, supporter, or not, you just let me know in the comments below what you think the Rabbitohs best game was. I, I don't care which game you say. I'll, I will um, comment on it, and I'll try my very best um, to explain. But anyways, going into the signings for the Rabbitohs for next year. Now... Uh, as of the 14th of November, we do not have anyone signed at the moment. Or we haven't signed anyone, uh, which that's a bit surprising, but you, you, you never expect. Sorry, don't expect the unexpected. So, as of now, we have lost five players. Yeah, no, it says on the website, f um, three, but on Wiki it says five. So, I'll go from, so Lachlan Gale, which I'm thinking he's in the reserve grade. Or the New South Wales um, Cup. He's been released. Josh Mansour was released. Quite a shame, really. I wish he played more games this year. But uh, um, he, I, I, I enjoyed him um, playing in our squad. But unfortunately, he's released. I don't know if he's going to play. I think he might retire. Who knows? Or go to the Super League. Uh, Mark Nichols and Cody Nicarima, who signed with us from the Warriors mid-season. I think Nick Rima played very well this year. Both gone to the Dolphins. Mark Nichols was probably the biggest loss. The GOAT. Unfortunately, won't be able to say that until we play the Dolphins next year. <laughs> and and we've also lost Jackson Paulo, who's gone to the Sydney Roosters. Now, here is the question. How do I think the South Sydney Rapidos, my own team, went this year? Well, I'm... I'm being honest, I am being unbiased, unbiased, not biased, unbiased. Now, I reckon we had an okay year to, for half of it. We were doing alright until the latter half of the year, over halfway through. We started to uh, do a lot more better um, towards the end of the season. But, for the Rabbitohs and my team, I will give them a rating a grade, a 7 out of 10. I give my boys a 7 out of 10 because I reckon we did very well this year. Compared to last year, we were a lot more better because we had the likes of Adam Reynolds, Dane Gagai, and super coach Wayne Bennett. But after they left the club um, this year, our season completely changed. Our 2022 season was completely different with the introduction of of young young rookie halfback Lachlan and Ilias. Now I'll get into the players in a sec. But for this year I reckon we did very well. 
especially towards the back end of the 2022 season. And going into the finals as well, shockingly, we beat the Roosters. I knew we would win that game. But against the Sharks, because the Sharks had an easy draw, we they only we only beat them by... Sorry, they, we lo only lost by one point against them in round 20. And then we were going to beat them by 26 in the second semi-finals. I don't understand how that happened, but Sharks didn't show up for that game. But overall, Rabbitohs have done very well in the finals, even though, lose, even though they would go on to lead um, against the Panthers 12-0 um, in, within 20 minutes of the game, of the preliminary final, before they were, the Rabbitohs just gave up pretty much and go on to lose 32-12. I think out of all their losses, I think that was the worst performance I've seen for the... Rabbitohs this year, other than the game against the Warriors where we almost choked. <sighs> oh, so, sorry, excuse me for that, sorry. But, overall, great season for the boys. I know, a bit of a downgrade from last year, but we still made the finals. Now, what has happened, what's in store for the Rabbitohs next year? So, we still don't have anyone signed yet. i oh, been, been murmurs about Matt Martin to power, or even George Burgess will. Um, come to the club. As for Mutton to power, I think he'll be probably the um, player who'll come most likely, but we don't know at this, this stage. And now with George Burgess, now he used to play for us from 2012 or 13 till 2019, before he went to the Super League and came back to the St. George Illawarra. He only played like four games for the Dragons this year, and he got released. Now, there's, there hasn't been anything official yet, if he's signed the, us or not, but if that's the case, the Rabbitohs are going to wait until the court, until his court case. That's why uh, he's not going to be signed the glove because his court case is in March. I don't know when in March, but I'm guessing it's just after the or February, just after the season starts. But if he does come to the club, I think that will be good. They have a twin brothers reunion. But anyways, um, I reckon the Rabbitohs will do well next year. Where do I see the Rabbitohs finishing next year? Like I said in every other um, club re review, it's way too early, but we are getting closer and looking at the 2023 draw that came out a um, couple of days ago. Um, I reckon we will finish in the top eight like this year. Finishing in the top eight for this year was a bit of, bit of a 50-50 choice. I had them in the bottom half of the eight, but at least probably not the same spot, but at least we made the eight. Do we see us in the top four? Now, that that I'm I'm fifty fifty on this one. On what for one one reason, our big um, trio Mitchell Cook and da Cook Damien Cook and Cody Walker, they're all they're all going to be re-signed, no doubt. M Mitchell will be till two thousand two thousand twenty seven. One million dollar contract. I like one million year. I uh, don't know yet. A cookie and Walker will be signed for another two years. This, that's all that it has been officially confirmed, but it will be confirmed in the next couple of weeks as the um, pre-season continues, or it will find out even after the World Cup is finished. But I think that's how it's going to happen. But do we? And on the other side, we could finish outside the top four again, because I could see a couple of teams improving that finish in the eight, and a couple. That might even fall out of the top four, or even outside the top eight. But we'll just have to wait and see. But top four, I'm 50-50 on the decision. Top eight, 100% guaranteed. Now, for the best players this year, uh, there's a lot of players I can go off. Like, you know, you got your Latron Mitchell, you got your Cody Walker, Damian Cook. Damian Cook is always an exception. Playing well in the dummy half, and especially playing, playing good... In the state of origin this year, even though I do question him starting from the bench um, in all three of the state of origin games, or two and three, I don't remember what games he played from the bench, but I think he's the better hooker for New South Wales, and that's just in my personal opinion. Now, Cody Walker, he had a bit of a slow start to the, to the year, but towards the back end of the season, he found his form. And steamrolled, playing his um, spot at 5'8". He even played fullback. 
uh, for a couple times of the year as Latrell Mitchell was out with his hamstring injury. And um, no doubt he's going to be um, at least a top five, uh, a top five, five, eight next year. And Latrell Mitchell, hands down, the best player in our squad. He completely, um, completely did a 180 when he returned f from his um, hamstring injury this year. If it wasn't for him returning, I think the Rabbitohs would have finished outside the top eight. Well, at least he came out. He's been playing excellent in the World Cup. In the, in the as the Kangaroos have made the World Cup final against Samoa, we'll wait and see who who wins on Sunday. I will do my preview and my preview and grand final tip who I think will win, but I think it'll be pretty obvious. They'll be coming out later in the week. But a couple other players I'd like to give out. Lachlan Ilias. Now he debuted for this set for us this year, or I think he debuted sometime in 2021. He played excellent um, this year at halfback. Now everyone wrote him off at the start as he at one point he got stood down for one round for not playing well, but all the critics shut up as um, Lachlan Illis will go on to be one of the best rookies for this year. I know he didn't get Rookie of the Year as it went to Jamarai Nanai, Nanai. Um, no doubt, but well-deserved first year for Ilias. No doubt he'll be a lot more better next year. Now I want to give a couple quick mentions. Campbell Graham, always a damaging player. Bit of an underrated player, honestly. Surprisingly, he didn't get um, he didn't play for State of Origin this year for the Blues. I'm hoping he does pl um, play next year. We'll just have to wait and see. But there's a, couple, a lot more other better players. Alex Johnson, always a try scoring machine, scoring 30 tries for us this year, second year in a row. And I think that's a first that this first time the same player um, came, um, scored the most amount of tries two seasons in a row. He'll, no doubt he'll score. I'll be surprised if he gets 35 next year. I'll wait for surprised, but if he goes for 40, I hope he does. Alright, to our front row and back rowers. Now, no doubt, I've, our best prop this year ha has to go to Junior Totola. He re revived his career uh, for us this year, always playing very well in every game that he played in, running through, running through the midfield. And even, even on some occasions scoring one or two tries in the game. Which that's a bit unusual from a prop or a back rower. <sighs> oh, sorry about that one. But he played very well. No doubt he'll play a lot better next year. Now, unfortunately we had to say goodbye to the GOAT Mark Nichols. He's been with us since 2018. He played very well with us. We got to four preliminary finals. Uh, and Sorry, three preliminary, four preliminary finals counting 2021. And a grand final, but unfortunately we lost, but that's okay. Now, no doubt he will play well at the Dolphins next year. Hopefully he gets a starting role or on the bench. If he doesn't play in round seven, I'm making this bold call. We play the Dolphins at some court. I bet he's going to score a try um, against us. I'm putting this down now, he will score a try. If he doesn't, oh, I'll be surprised if he does, though. Now, hands down, the best player across the... Back, um, back, back starting 13 has definitely got to go to Keon Callum Tungy. Now, his, da his damaging runs this year was perfection. He was, pretty, he was hands down the best back rower on the field uh, for the Bunnies this year. He even scored um, the first try a couple times this season. Been unexpected for a back rower, but no doubt he played very well this year and he'll play a lot more better. A lot um, next year, just like Junior Totola, and I want to give one more quick mention to our captain, Cameron Murray. Now, this is his first year as captain, as he's been around since 2017 um, for the Rabbitohs. Making him captain at the, um, the making him captain was a bit questionable um, when he when it was first announced, but completely understand why he became captain. <laughs> He, he he always plays well this year. He had a couple of little mingle injuries and was out for a couple of games. Even a couple of head knocks, um, surprisingly, uh, um, like in, the, in one or two games and stay of origin. But um, 
he was definitely the best player on the field. Um, playing that his superb spot lock. No doubt he's going to be one of the more better players next year. And I'm hoping um, he'll show this in more state of origin as long as he stays healthy. <laughs> and he's been playing well in the World Cup. He's scored a double in, in, in one of the games last week. I believe it was against... It wasn't against New Zealand, I think. It was against Fiji, who we played. I could be wrong. Um, just let me know it down if, 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 I, if I'm wrong. But anyways, overall... Ravenos did very well this year, finishing in 7th place, definitely a pass, and fin finishing on um, finishing with a preliminary final loss, 5th straight, I know, I'm hoping we can make the grand final next year, but I don't think we will, but who never knows, anyways everyone, this will come towards the end of my video, I hope you enjoyed it, now the next um, team I will be doing, we're going the opposite side, opposite opposite side of the, of the spectrum, meaning I'm doing the best team. You know, now I'm doing the worst team. We're just the the disgraceful and embarrassing Gold Coast Titans. They will be the next team I will be doing. But anyways, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe for more um, content like this. I am half. I am now halfway through the um, teams. Do, doing all the reviews for the teams. I'm eight down. Got eight more to go. I will be doing the other eight teams across the preseason before I get into 2023 NRL content. Anyways, everyone, this will come towards the end of the video. Like I said, comment, like, and subscribe for more like this. And I'll see each and every one of you in the next one. Take care.